Hi and welcome to my channel. Today uh, we are doing a wood piece, how to finish your wood pieces. So I got this, yes, this chest of drawers and I am going to convert it into this. So without further ado, let's just begin. First things first, I went ahead and cleaned the entire thing and then got down to sanding. This was a long and lengthy process that I had to use my machine for the outer parts and whatever areas that I could reach. And then I had to go ahead and sand the inner parts of the drawers and the piece, uh, yeah, drawers and this block or the frame for it with hand. So that was a very very long process i am just showing you what i did in a short span so that you are under, you understand that you first need to clean your piece then you need to go ahead and sand it now as you can see there are a lot of metallic attachments to this one so i had to be very careful that i don't rub them off or scrape them a lot so I to clean the metallic parts I used pitambari I will if for those of you who do not know what this is it's a powder that comes for cleaning metals and after all that was done I was left with a neat and clean piece that was well sanded and uh, that's it this is how it looked so after hours of sanding what I came to uh, decide was I had to paint it so I decided on the colors that we wanted to go we got uh, this is a piece from my friend so she sent me some color inspirations and uh, we decided to go with that those colors or inspired by those colors so then uh, I painted all the pieces around and uh, then came the part where I had to finish it now uh, from where you're seeing is one coat of varnish has already been added and I see that there are some places that the paint like me i always commit some stupid mistakes that i would suggest you should not so once i had painted it all i went ahead and checked how it looked now when this paint was not completely cured and when i took out the, took them out from the drawers it chipped off a lot of paint so you will see me doing the painting again retouching the paint and then we will go ahead and varnish it and i'll come back to you So touching up the paint here and uh, as I showed you I was too eager next would come the drying process uh, and I am removing all this uh, paint that had gotten onto the metal parts I just had to sand it down and clean it up so that it doesn't look messy on the outside and it looks neat and clean for this I used a 220 grit sanding paper while these pieces that I had repainted were drying I took up this part and just gently sanded them down being careful that I don't rub it too much. While I was at it I took the 220 grit sanding paper and cleaned up all the brush marks also while doing that so sanding and cleaning up all the pieces. So that just make it nice and smooth for the varnish. Okay, here I am mixing the varnish with some water. This is a water-based uh, Aquador PU polyurethane varnish, uh, water-based. So I am adding a little bit of water. Just to you know, 80% uh, varnish, 20%, 10 to 20% uh, water is more than enough, and you just go ahead and do the entire piece completely cover it with varnish. This is one coat. You need at least two to three coats of varnish for this. So I will just do this and let it dry. Come back, sand it again a little bit, and then repeat the process. So this will repeat be repeated at least two to three times to get a nice and smooth finish.
so once the varnish was dry i coated it uh, sanded it again and coated it again with varnish and here you will see me go ahead and add the final layer or rather i waxed it again uh, add the wax which is going to give a very nice soft finish to the wood so and also because some of the drawers are little little tight it will help us smoothen it out you know uh, the pushing in uh, you know getting it out opening and closing of the drawers will be much easier so this is a very good tip if you have a drawer which doesn't have a mechanism any mechanism as in drawer slides and stuff and it's a simple drawer wooden drawer which goes in and if uh, due to monsoons or due to uh, change of seasons the wood expands or contracts sometimes you will have difficulty in opening and closing the drawers in that case all you can do is a quick tip and very easy and very efficient believe me it works so you add take out the drawer add on all the sides that are going to be touching you rub it with candle yes a simple wax candle just rub it around on all the areas and also on the piece where the drawer is going to go and then you will see after just try it a few times and it will become very smooth so i hope you will try that and let's get back to our project so to add the wax you will need a clean rag and you will make it damp and apply the wax in circular motions as you can see me doing here i'm just taking a little bit of wax on my rag and i just apply it on us in a circular motion to let it be this is also the method that we normally use use to follow or um, for polishing our shoes right you keep the apply the wax keep it for some time let it dry and then you go ahead and with a clean dry cloth and just buff it as in when i say buff it you really mean to just rub it rigorously till it gives you a nice soft sheen so this is what we are doing to this uh, piece of chest of drawers as well and what will that do is give you a very nice soft uh, finish that looks really really beautiful i'm sorry some people are interfering in my work <laughs> it happens all the time guys i am working from home and with covid happening everybody is at home all the time so or most of the times at least so you just i will just go ahead and apply all the wax and uh, later you will see me uh buffing some of the pieces but i left it for about 4 hours 3 4 hours um and then came back and buffed it so also now that uh, you, you've been here for some time i thank you all my viewers who have been with me for some time and if you're new here i welcome you to my channel i do crafting and diy videos every week and uh, i try to post as frequently as i can and share uh, good content i hope uh, these things will motivate you and inspire you to make your own projects and if you do um, i would love to know and more than that guys i would if you're new here i would be really really grateful if you would consider subscribing and uh, as that as that keeps me motivated to make uh, videos and keep going I hope you liked it and uh, I will show you the finished project how it looks and I since my friend was planning to put in plants in it so I thought I will try it how it would look in her house I will ask her to send me more pictures and you can call get the pictures that she sends me on Instagram catch me on Instagram as home hashtag #diy my aim here on my channel is to help you or inspire you to do your um, redo your project uh, furniture or all, all the crafting on a budget basically i am always looking to save money and uh, help you with some ideas and inspirations i hope you get inspired and if you do please leave it in the comments below and if you make something inspired from my ideas please do tag me on instagram and uh, i will see you soon until then be happy be safe have a great week bye